Welcome back everybody, this is Steve KM9G and I've been playing with this Zygu X6100 ever since I got it, which was only a brief short time ago, with less than 48 hours ago. I put out a video the other day on how WSJTX and FT8 was not working and then I spent a couple more hours playing with it and this video is about how it is working because I got it working. But you saw that in the thumbnail and the title so you already know. So let's get right into it. Uh, I have the... 6100 hooked up through the USB port, and it is the one that is marked dev on the side because the host port is for mice and keyboard. And then it runs into the Raspberry Pi, which is running KM4 ACK's build a Pi. And what I did yesterday was I set up FL Digi, FL Digi, FL Rig. FL Rig works fine using the 5105. It does the push to talk. Everything is great there. The connection between WSJTX and FL Rig is where the problem came in. And I did try to do this the other day, and it did not work out. Let me get over to my Raspberry Pi. Let's hit the menu. Let's go into sound and video and pick WSJTX. There is a predefined rig control for the Zygu X108G. And the Zygu X108G is an older radio that Zygu makes, made, still makes. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but... In order to get this thing set up, what we need to do is rearrange our screen so it's all visible and, and lovely and seeable. You can see that I am on 20 meters and I am currently out of band. And that is reading from the radio directly. So we'll go into settings and we'll go into the radio tab and we'll use that Zygu X108G that I mentioned. All of these other settings are fine. And then I had split operation. I had it set to rig and it should be set to none. If you set it to rig, it was doing the VFO, VFO, A, VFO, B swap, and VFO, B was on the wrong spot, so it was actually transmitting out of the FT8 area as opposed to where it wanted to transmit. It was very weird how it was doing that, so I set that to none. When I hit test cat, this light didn't turn green. I just pushed it. It ain't changing. And then the radio just clicked a relay and unclicked but the light still didn't turn green. I'm pressing test cat again. And normally I have a tremendous amount of patience, but I think I was just overly excited and uh, didn't get there. It didn't turn red, but it also didn't turn green, which is what I'm used to. So Zygu X108G, TTY ACM1, 19200, default, 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 and set this for data packet, which doesn't change anything on the rig. The rig has a mode setting. I set that for USB DIG. And honestly, I don't think that matters either. And then uh, split operation is set for none and PTT method is set for cat. So we're gonna hit okay, even though it didn't go green. And I'm going to change this to 20 meters. And you can see that the green light is green and this is now green. And you can see that I'm getting some data in on my waterfall finally. So now we've got inbound audio, which I had working with FL rig and the regular audio settings. Let me show you the audio settings just to be complete. Settings, audio, and we're using the C Media Electronics input, and it says also input, and we're using the C Media Electronics output, and it says also output. And C Media Electronics is the sound card that's built into the 6100. I'm going to click OK on that. Again, you can see we're decoding. I'm going to pick a clean spot in the frequency. I'm going to set TX and RX offset, and I'm going to hit Enable TX. And the radio has gone into transmit mode and gone out of transmit mode because we were at the very tail end of the 15 second window. So I'm gonna sit back and watch this thing make a contact. And I know that this bar is red over here. We'll get to that in a bit. Okay, so you can see my transmit map is showing that I've got a pretty good pattern on 20 meters. I am centered in an area called Luck, Wisconsin and I'm broadcasting on 20 meters. And there is my Effective radiation pattern. That's a beautiful radiation pattern. That means I'm getting out all over the continental United States. I'm probably getting farther than this, but I just wanted to show you a quick map that I am, in fact, making outbound propagation. Wonderful. Uh -huh, T-Ray, we got KI5QYY trying to come back. The radio is warm to the touch. And I'm running on shore power at 10 watts. All right, there we go. I sent him a minus 8. He received a minus 22. So it works. Thanks, Steve. Love it.
From the factory, the 6100 comes with an RF gain setting of 50. And I'll show you on the radio how to change that setting. But that is what is causing this bar chart over here to go red. And when you hover over the bar chart itself, it will give you a little tooltip pop up. Let's see, here we go. 30 dB is recommended when only noise present, green when good, red when clipping may occur, and yellow when too low. I have found during the FT8 off that I wanna be right below red so I can hear as many signals as possible and I can discriminate from them and I'm gonna let the computer do all of the discrimination and, and heavy lifting instead of letting the radio do it. I want the radio to give my computer as much signal as possible and then let my brain and my computer figure it out. Um, the setting for that is your RF gain setting. And you can see that it, it hits red every so often. And so what I'm gonna do is turn it down and I turned it down to 30. And when I got it down to 30 is where it started to be happier. And we'll let this go for a couple of cycles. Now we're in between cycles. Now we're back up to the next cycle. And with an RF gain setting of 30, I'm riding around 60 maybe a little bit higher, maybe a little bit lower. This will change based on your location and based on your antenna and based on a whole variety of other factors. But uh, I just don't want it in the red. I want it right below the red. That's my personal belief. This control right here is where you would figure out how your ALC is supposed to work. And there's a couple of things that are going on with ALC. There isn't any way for me currently to measure what the ALC is because there's not an ALC meter on the radio. That may change with a future firmware upgrade. And in the owner's manual that came with the radio and the owner's manual you can download online, they're both the same thing. The only time it mentions ALC is in the appendix where it talks about connecting it to the amplifier and then it says you'll have the ALC in the amp and the ALC in the radio working together merrily and happily with each other. Hmm. So there's no settings I can give you for power yet. That will probably change. If it does, there will be a future video on this channel with how to properly figure out where to set this based on your location conditions and desires and all that fancy stuff. Otherwise, there is a video right over here that I think that you will like next. Thanks for being awesome.